So I've gotten a lot of calls the last few weeks uh, regarding the difference between southern blight and bacterial wilt in tomato fields. And it's imperative that we know the difference. Um, unfortunately, there's not many ways we can manage it this year, but for next season, we could get grafted plants perhaps um, or correct varieties that have some resistance um, to the difference. So the first thing you'll see in a field is you'll have a healthy plant and it all of a sudden just wilt down in a matter of a couple of days. So the first thing that I do um, is you want to find a plant that is still green, but is on its way out, um, dying. I look around the base of the plant and I look for a white fungal growth, kind of where the soil touches the stem of the plant. Um, and I look for that white mass. If I don't see the white mass or I don't see these little things that look like um, fertilizer pellets or millet, um, if I don't see those, then I don't 100% rule out southern blight. Um, but that kind of gives me an inclination that it may be something else. So once I look at the plant and I don't see the white mycelial growth for, that's uh, indicative of southern blight, then I take the plant and harvest it. Um, and then you see some internal discoloration here on this plant. So to me, this is a good indicator that this could potentially be bacterial wilt. So I take the plant, I cut about a three or four inch um, piece of the plant and put it in a jar of clear water. And what's going to happen if you have bacterial wilt is you'll start to see some bacterial streaming or you'll see this like clear milky ooze come out of the, the stem of the plant into the clear water. Um, and this is going to happen anywhere from a minute to 10 minutes after you put it in there, depending on uh, the prevalence of the pathogen in your plant. So if you do see this bacterial streaming, then you know 100% that you have bacterial wilt and not southern blight. Um, and again, knowing the difference in your field could really help you um, pick out the right uh, grafted varieties for next season if that's the route you want to take.